first, we do want to get started with our top story. First at five, the arrest of a town official in Niagara County. The highway superintendent in the town of Pendleton facing several charges tonight, all related to using town equipment and services for personal use. Two on your side's Jackie Roberts has the details and spoke with legal analysts about why the charges are serious, but not as uncommon as you think. This is 59 year old Jeffrey Stoll in a previous interview with two on your side. He's now facing several charges, including grand larceny in the third degree. Stoll is the Pendleton Highway Superintendent, and now the Niagara County Sheriff's Department is accusing him of using town employees for work on his home and vehicles, in addition to using town-owned equipment and materials for personal work at his house. Every couple of years or so, we see one of these cases. Attorney Paul Cambria says the allegations are serious, but not as uncommon as you might think. Unfortunately, this isn't a unique situation, or at least unique allegations. We've had a bunch of people uh, in the past in various towns and cities who have been accused of the same kind of conduct. Stoll is charged with grand larceny, three counts of petty larceny, and one count of official misconduct. If convicted, he could face up to seven years in prison. But Cambria says in cases like this one, more often than not, that's not the outcome. We've never seen anybody actually go to jail unless it was really large scale. And those usually involve things like no shows or it involves large amounts of money. According to the Sheriff's Department, Town of Pendleton officials cooperated with law enforcement during the investigation. We reached out to the town for comment and stopped by the town hall to get more information, but no one was willing to talk to us at this time. Stoll is due back in court in January. Stoll was arraigned in the town of Lockport Court and released. We'll continue to follow this story and keep you updated as we learn more. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.